Okay, welcome back again to this domestic rotary model 153 MG. Again, what I would consider to just be a Rolls Royce of machines. I mean, how many machines again do you see that have silver plating instead of chrome and uh, are handmade? I mean, there's so much pride that went into this machine, I can't say enough about it. And uh, along with a lot of pride also came a lot of power. Again, it's driven by a direct pulley driven, a direct drive 0.95 amp motor that has just unbelievable power. If you've already seen the leather sew off and the two layers of leather sew off, you know what I'm talking about. And you know what? Don't underestimate the strength of this material either. This is canvas binding tape and as I've shown you before, extremely strong, has a tensile strength that far exceeds the thickness of it which right away tells you with that tensile strength you're talking about a material that has a very high piercing threshold as well. So let me go ahead and count them off. Let me first of all say when I got done servicing this machine and we did some testing on it, we thought eight or nine layers would be enough for this machine. I think when we sold a Singer 201 which is like the big daddy of Singers when it comes to heavy duty sewing, I think we only did about ten layers. Uh, we're going to do 12 layers of this on this machine. Gives you a comparative in your own mind as far as how strong and how heavy duty this domestic is. All right, layer one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven, and twelve. Let me group it together so you can see with your own eyes how thick that in fact is. And I can't emphasize enough, this stuff, this canvas binding tape is so strong and so resistant to uh, the piercing of the needle that when you raise the stakes to 12 layers it's like doing probably at least two layers, two thick layers of genuine cowhide. So follow me down to the needle. Let me show you what this machine can do. And again I would attribute to the fact that we just we take our machines to a new level uh, because of the way they're serviced. Also, I didn't really emphasize it while sliding underneath, but I barely had to use that hyperextension to slide these 12 layers of canvas binding tape underneath there. All right, press your foot down, and here we go. 12 layers of very tough to get through canvas binding tape. Here we go. I decided to have a little bit of fun and that, that almost got away from me. And that's my fault. That's not the machine's fault. Alright, there we go. This just has so much power. I must be artistic today or something. I'm not happy with a straight line. I'm kind of doing some mountain stuff and all that. That must be my super artistic side coming out. But thankfully, even though I'm being artistic, the machine is doing its job perfectly. That is an absolutely perfect top stitch in every respect. The spacing, the integrity of the stitch, uh, it's just picture perfect. And as I turn it to the side, look at the thickness of that again. And I'll tell you one thing, if you're the winner and you get this in your own home, because we always provide our sew-offs so you can look at it with your own eyes and just touch it and just realize again the incredible strength of that machine that you have, uh, you'll be amazed. As we rotate it around, also a perfect lock stitch uh, to boot. And again, if I turn it to the side, I'm going to kind of bend it a little bit. Look at what 12 layers of canvas binding tape looks like. An unbelievable task. And yet, this domestic 153 MG got the job done with absolute ease.